Good evening. As Patrick mentioned, my name is Kelly Stukas, and I coordinate the elementary literacy programs. Um, the Thank a teacher stories were so inspiring. Next time, I'm going to ask that we go before those inspiring stories. <laughs> I'm kidding. I hope that our literacy framework is inspiring to you tonight. And I also hope that you'll be able to say, wow, that's awesome when we're finished. But under my literacy umbrella, I wanted to share with you the many hats that I wear. I not only coordinate the Title I program, but I make sure that our district is compliant, in compliance with the federal government, and I support our non-public partners uh, within our district as they also implement Title I supports. My favorite part of my job is coordinating the elementary literacy program. I'm pleased to be with you tonight and with my team. As you'll see the slide that was selected, those are really authentic Heights cheerleaders to kick off our team literacy presentation. Patrick introduced us, and I'd like to let you know that we'll be sharing our district literacy framework, a lens from which all classrooms operate, the role of the Title I teacher, and our school-wide model, which also includes partnerships outside in the community stemming from Reaching Heights to John Carroll University to Family Connections. At this time, I'd like to introduce Larry Swoop. He will be kicking off team literacy with the power of influence. The power of influence is something we deal with every day with kids. Uh, kid to kid, we call that peer pressure sometimes, but most importantly, teacher to kid. And we do that uh, all day long, and I think we do it most effectively with literacy in our literacy framework. You're going to see a video in a minute, and that video, I want you to see how the excitement, uh, the enthusiasm on one child's face can spread to touch so many, so many more. So Karen's gonna lead us in that video. It only takes one. <laughs> Everyone wants to be on a bandwagon that's moving. Uh, Patrick's already introduced Karen Heisenberg, who's a program specialist in the district with literacy, and she's going to start talking about the nuts and bolts of what we do every day in the classroom. Thank you, Mr. Swoop. To think that one person can have that amount of influence is what we've done this year to try to develop and expand our team to include our school-wide services beyond just those that we have seen in the past as a pull-out program. So now our team of teachers and our um, Title I teachers specifically are touching children in each and every classroom. So the emphasis becomes how can we help all and not just how are we helping a few. And in that, to that end, we have developed a framework, not in our own brains, but we've consulted with experts and we've taken the um, Linda Dorn framework and placed our time into certain components that include a whole group piece, a small group piece, and then we regroup into a whole group piece again. When we think about our whole group time, we have strategically decided what should we do for all to improve the experiences that everyone is having. And some of those things that we are doing to improve the experiences of all is sharing common read-alouds common anchor experiences, 
and providing access for all to on grade level text. And you see a picture of our kindergarten teacher, Miss Belinda Farrow, with her children doing a read aloud. Here you see a small group interaction with both the teacher aide and with Miss Farrow, again interacting in that whole group setting to have those anchor experiences, those common experiences that they can refer to as a class. After they have this common experience in whole group, they move into arrangements of small group instruction, allowing the teacher to see a few number of children and have that personal experience and ability to observe particular behaviors in their reading. While the kids are not with the teacher, they're learning how to work independently and collaboratively with other kids in their class. That's what they're doing when they're not with the teacher. One of the items was working with a buddy or doing some buddy reading. We also have made sure that writing becomes a huge focus within our literacy framework. So although we may not see a 50-50 match, we are definitely increasing the amount of time and the way that we focus our instruction in the writing time. So we have an emphasis on the use of a writer's workshop model where kids are doing more process pieces from a start to a finish, but not always to a finish. Sometimes they'll start a piece and decide that they want to abandon it and start something new. The key points within the workshop allow that point of choice within a particular genre so the children can learn it more deeply. And Candace is now going to speak to the assessment pieces and all of the components of her job that she encounters during her day.